Oh God, I have put off doing this video for so long and you'll see why as soon as I get into it, I am gonna get a lot of heat for this, but you know what? Bring it on. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Mina Zia. I am your friendly neighborhood spiritual life coach. And today we are talking about manifestation being the old paradigm. Now, the first thing I wanna say is I am not saying manifestation doesn't work anymore. Actually, I'm saying the opposite. So just stick with me here, okay? Hear me out. <laughs> So what's the old paradigm? The, uh, the paradigm shift going on here just means that what we thought was the best way to do something is no longer because there's something better now. So it's not that manifestation doesn't work. It actually really, really works as so many of you who are watching this know, but I have something that works better. It's the new paradigm of law of attraction, which is called the law of allowing. So, how are they different? The law of attraction is, is basically like, like attracts like. If you come up with an intention, like what exactly you want, it's already yours, like raise your vibration and, and it's, it's here and it's going to be here and all that like that. Okay, great. So law of allowing is a little different because in law of allowing, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot say what you want. You have to have zero goals. And I know that I'm literally telling humans to have zero goals, and that is not how we are programmed, but th you heard me right. And I have told many clients this now, like do not have a goal, have no goals. Because in the sixth dimension, which I go to all the time now, if you're my client, you know that, exists every single timeline that exists in the history of any timeline ever. So for example, there's the Mina that is making this video right now. <clears throat> That's me. This is my timeline. There's also the Mina that chose not to make this video. That timeline is also running right now. And she's running and I'm here and it's every decision you've ever made. Think of any decision you've ever made. Okay. I made this espresso for myself. What if I wouldn't have made it? That's a timeline. So every single choice divides the timeline. So you have literally millions and billions of yous that are living in the sixth dimension at the same time to completion. This is why people can see the future. And this is why we have a mix of fate and free will. There are so many probable outcomes that are to completion that all you have to do is basically go and pick one. So you have the free will to make a different choice, but there are only so many choices, which are literally billions and billions. So, um, so, so that's the deal. And so basically law of allowing, instead of you, I'll just give this example. I give this example um, all the time, but I have to keep going with it. So um, I had someone, sorry, I had a hair. I, <laughs> I had someone um, come to me for an Akashic record reading and she was talking to me about her goals and she was saying that she wanted to manifest this like $10,000 penthouse in Los Angeles. Okay. Awesome. And she was living like her, her rent's like a thousand dollars right now. So she wants to like comfortably afford it. And she was like, law of attraction. I know exactly what I want. I can see it in my mind. I can see it in my mind and it's mine. I know it's mine. Okay. She's both right and wrong. She's using the old paradigm of law of attraction of manifestation. Great. Okay. Now, do you want to guess what her spirit guide whispered in my ear when she said that? <laughs> Her spirit guide was like, go look in her outcomes. So I moved to the sixth dimension. Well, I've been doing this for a really long time, so I can literally move there whenever. I see in her probable outcomes, yes, that apartment exists and she could easily have that apartment. She could easily manifest that. Do you wanna know what else exists in her probable outcomes? A freaking chateau in France. Like a really gorgeous multi-million euro chateau in France. Okay, so the issue here is that this girl has no idea that that's a thing. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like what they say, you know, start smaller because you don't really believe it and, and it's not going to work unless you believe it, right? 
So that's why law of attraction is really hard. And that's why if you've tried manifestation, you can't do it. That's why, because you don't have the belief. Law of allowing makes it so that the best, best probable outcome will happen to you. So she has a, a split lifetime where she has that chateau and it's available to her equivalent to this $10,000 penthouse that's available to her. They're both equally available because they're both sitting in the sixth dimension in her probable outcomes. She's choosing that one. So you know what I say to her? Well, then I'm thinking, well, maybe she doesn't want that chateau. I don't know. Not everyone wants to go live in France, I guess. I don't know who that is, but some people don't. I say to her, okay, great. So you don't want the whatever, five, 10 million, 10 million euro chateau. And she was like, wait, what do you mean? And I explained the whole thing to her and she's like, well, no, I want that. Like, obviously she wants that. Do you see what I'm saying? So law of attraction isn't a thing anymore because you can't, even if you are like, this is the best possible outcome. Like I know it is, but I'm doing possible and probable interchangeably. It's fine. This is the best outcome. I know it. No, you don't because you are a human. You are a human, no matter how spiritually advanced you are. Even if you're at level 16, I've been sitting in level 16 for a very long time. Okay. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my other posts about the 16 levels of spiritual growth that I have theorized and channeled. It doesn't matter. You can't possibly know because you can't possibly know everything. So like, you know, if I, if I'm like, oh, I want to manifest this trip to Peru, which I'm really trying to do. Okay. Well, little do I know that also in my probable outcome field, there's like a really freaking awesome trip happening at the same time. And I might want that one more, but I don't even know it's a thing. I didn't even like think that was a thing. Do you know what I'm saying there? It, it's, you don't even realize it's a thing. You don't even realize it's in your reality. It's outside of the reach of your human brain. We are programmed and conditioned to think small. We are programmed to fear. We are programmed to be limited. This is why the law of allowing is way better than the law of attraction because attraction is I want like, well, not I want it's, I have this. And because you have this and you know, you have this, it comes. Okay. That works. But you're saying I want this versus these billion other things that you don't even know about. Do you know what I'm saying? So law of allowing goes from this to everything. So it goes from law of attraction being you have decided what the best probable outcome is to law of allowing, which is you're letting spirit choose what the best probable outcome is. And by the way, spirit is you. So spirit will give you the best thing and the thing that you probably freak out about the most that will happen. I have seen this happen with so many clients. I am begging you, please stop setting dollar amount goals. Please stop setting timeline goals. Do not set goals because those goals are limited. They are fear-based. Even if you don't think they're fear-based, they are. Please trust me. People will fight me on this because people don't like change and people don't like being told that what they're doing is not the best option. So if you are one of those people, like, I am so sorry, please keep doing what you're doing. Manifestation works. I mean, I've been saying that. But if you are someone who wants to grow and develop and keep learning new techniques, which is the vast majority of the people following this account as of now, please do law of allowing. So you basically, and I'll talk more about this too in um, my emails. So go sign up for my emails, link in my bio to get on my email list. Um, in the morning, in my morning ritual, I open my arms wide and I say, I allow for the best probable outcomes for today. I say that and I mean that and I declare that that's my intention. When I declare that, I know that the universe is like, okay, copy that. And they are combing through every single outcome versus me having to do it, which is excellent. Automation is everything. So they're looking through everything and they're like, Ooh, actually you were going to do this one through manifestation, but now actually this thing's better. So I'm going to have you do this one instead. Suddenly your life becomes so much more magical because you are taking your control out of it and your assumption that you know everything and you're letting law of allowing take over. You're letting the universe 
give you the best, truly best probable outcome from the sixth dimension. And eventually I will talk about dimensions. I go there all the time. I get a lot of questions about it and I will talk more about how to access every single dimension. If you want personalized help on this, sign up for my Akashic Record coaching program. You can get a reading first, but in my program, I will literally coach you on like how to get to the dimensions, how to look at these probable outcomes, how to do love allowing, how to enhance your psychic gifts, like literally whatever is in your record, I will teach you how to do that. So please take this advice. It will change your life. If you already do the law of allowing, please comment below. If you don't, but you want to learn more, please comment below. And just anyway, just comment below. I love to talk with you guys. Call me, beat me. If you want to reach me, if you want to sign up for a reading or coaching, please email me. Um, and yeah, love you guys. And I will see you soon.